Hi, I'm Josh Ellis, and this is Success in Seconds, a sudden rainbow in your otherwise stormy day. And I'm Shelby Skirhawk, and today we've got four mental tricks to use when you're feeling overwhelmed from success.com and Guy Joseph Ale. Our subconscious mind processes information not in terms of words and numbers, but images and pictures. Mental imagery techniques communicate directly with the body's nervous system that regulate bodily functions such as heart rate, blood pressure, digestion. In this way, mental imagery tools help you manage life in a competent manner while contributing to your body's harmonious operation. In other words, they align the world inside you with the world outside. Ah, so let's imagine you're in the eye of a storm. Right where you are, everything is still and quiet. No matter how dangerous the circumstances are outside, the eye of the storm inside you is stable and safe. This technique is best used in turbulent circumstances of any kind, work, family, physical danger, sports competition, where it's vital for you to stay cool during a crisis. So, number one, mental trick number one. Remember that you are dealing with an event over which you have little or no control. You're facing forces much larger than yourself. Your primary objective in this situation is to come out of it without harm. Number two, grow quiet and follow your breath into your center. Shift your mental focus from the storm raging around you to the peaceful place at your core. Your inner world is your safety net. You can feel it as a solid foundation under your feet, which provides you with steady support. Number three, now make the mental shift to switch your attention from the negative event over which you have no control to a positive action which you can regulate, your breathing. This is how you begin to regain your authority and strength in the situation through steady breathing. A helpful mantra here is, the only thing I can control is my own behavior, but that's plenty. And number four, see a mental picture of yourself passing through this storm and emerging on the other side healthy, centered, and competent. This sequence helps you to locate your sense of center and discipline in yourself, and it gives you confidence that you can face challenges in a self-respecting manner. In the future, a certain event you encounter will trigger a memory of the mental tools that we just described, and it'll bring it to the forefront of your psyche. That's how the subconscious mind works, right? At that point, you'll be able to recall the specific mechanism of that imagery tool, calm in the storm. And it'll help you handle the situation in a competent, calm way. Keep calm and carry on.